Jennifer Williams knows the challenges of operating a business. Her father helped open Clintonville's Wyland Market in 1961. They started as a tiny meat market over on High Street, and we've grown to 20,000 square feet, so we could not do that without customer loyalty. Just like everywhere else, the Jenny's case at Wyland's is empty tonight. And just like many small business owners, when she heard the reason for that, Williams empathized. My first thought was, oh no, poor Jenny's. Like, I immediately thought, oh, as a business, that has got to be, it just hits you where you live. It's just painful and it's just something that you don't wish on anyone. Jenny's threw out an estimated $2.5 million in product, closed all of its scoop shops, and said it won't sell another pint until it can guarantee its operation and products are free of listeria. Paul Carringer, associate professor of marketing at Columbus State, has been following the crisis closely. Well, my guess is they were uncertain as to where the problem uh, was generated, and they went uh, to the extreme because they realized that that was in the best interest of the consumer, not their company, but the consumer. And that's critical. He says how businesses manage a crisis is key to whether or not they and their brand survive it. The brand itself rests on the trust that the consumer gives it. And if that trust is denigrated in any way, over time, consumers have options. They'll find other places to go. The front door of Jenny's Short North store is papered with love letters from loyal customers, showing support and promising when Jenny's comes back, they will too. Will they survive this? Oh, I hope so, and I think they will. Carringer says brand loyalty plus quick action and honest communication are the keys. Jennifer Williams says based on that, she has no doubts Jenny's will come back and be welcomed by her customers. If you have customer loyalty and customers know that you're trying to do the right thing and, you know, want them to be happy, then, you know, that's all you can wish for in business. Glenn McIntyre, 10TV News.